There have been some enhancements to the advanced 3D tool paths inside of the latest version of GibbsCam, and I wanted to go over them in this video. I'm going to use adaptive pocketing strategy to show these. Let me show you the tool path that I've created. So this is a roughing tool path using adaptive pocketing in our advanced 3D tool path solution. So let's see what it does. I'm going to go ahead and take a side view of this. What I want is I want to rough this part out, but I also want to be able to take off as much material, especially in these little fillets in here as possible. But I don't want to do this small step down over the entire part because I have these big corners where I need to take out a lot of material. What advanced pocketing does is let me go ahead and show you a tool simulation of this. Advanced pocketing takes those big cuts, those I'm sorry, those big Z steps, and then where there's material left over where it can fit, it comes up and does a smaller step only in the areas where it can hit that material. Let me back this up. It goes down. Actually, in this in this instance, going down 200 thousandths, it does its movements, and then it comes back and steps up every 50 thousandths to get all of those little details and finish those little fillets. This is a really nice toolpath strategy when you have when you're roughing out a part, especially a 3D part uh, that has a lot of small details, but also a lot of big chunks of material that need to be removed. So let's talk about some of the things that are new. One thing that's new in all advanced 3D toolpath is it automatically avoids fixtures. All of the red solids in this I have told Gibbscam are fixtures. If I right mouse button click and I hit body type, you can see that I have fixture. The latest version of Gibbscam will automatically avoid those fixtures when calculating the toolpaths. For adaptive pocketing, We've added a couple, actually we've added a lot of new functionality in our entry exit. We've made this look more like the options that you've seen in other toolpaths. Also in our options, we've made a lot of additions, link with high feed rate, step first, things like that with adaptive pocketing. So if you have any questions about adaptive pocketing or the latest version of GibbsCam at all, please reach out to your local reseller or give GibbsCam technical support a call. Thank you.